Hey, what's going on people, Bearfox here and welcome back to another brand new video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can improve your FPS, get better performance in PUBG PC. And a lot of you guys have been requesting me to make a video on this topic. So here I am covering this guide. For the best performance, make sure to watch it till the end. Also, don't forget to leave your specs down in the comments below so I can reply to each one of you individually. And with all this said, let's get started. Alright, step number one is the essential windows settings or the best windows settings as we always do. Open up your settings section of your windows, then what you need to do is go over to the gaming mode and then go to game mode and make sure that game mode is enabled. Doing so will optimize your PC by turning things off in the background allowing you to get much more headspace while you're playing the game. Right beneath that, you will find the graphic settings. You need to open it up and then click on change default graphic settings make sure to enable both of these options as it will use hardware accelerated gpu scheduling which basically means utilizing your graphic card to the max extent for playing your games and this will reduce the latency and improves the performance of your game overall then optimization for windowed games helps you to reduce the input latency and it also uses a much better model for playing the game so make sure to enable both of these options then head over to the graphics pack again and then click on browse and then go to the installation location of your game once you've located the folder you need to go into the tsl game then binaries then win64 and in here you will find the tsl game.exe you need to add it and if it is not already added it will add it then click on option and select high performance then go back click on browse once again and then click on exec pubg.exe add this one as well go to options and then select high performance over here then go back to browse and also add the tsl game uc.exe and once it is added simply select high performance for the same go back to browse go to iigw select the iigw server click on add and then add it and use the high performance as well once you've added all of these applications go down to the windows update section and make sure that your windows is always up to date if not already click on check for updates and keep looking for updates on your windows as windows keep fixing on these bugs every now and then allowing you to get much better performance and fix any of the bugs which may be causing fps loss this will always help you to get much better fps in all of the games so make sure to do it I would like to introduce you all to Obison Remote, a one-stop shop solution for using your PC anytime, anywhere using your mobile phone. It's available for Windows, Android and iOS. Obison Remote has a wide variety of features that can mirror your phone or PC and control it with a virtual mouse. You can even play games on it at up to 144 FPS with a customizable keyboard without any issues. If you need any other layout, you can create it using this feature. They have also recently added the security settings to keep your device even more safe. You can get Obison Remote for free or you can get its game version to get access to your PC's game library and features to play from anywhere. You can even get up to 40% discount too and from the link in the description below you can get a free 7 days trial. They also have a smart plug that can turn your PC on or off remotely from your phone and it is really convenient and reliable. So links in the description below, go check out Obison Remote. Thanks for sponsoring this video. Step number two is deanimating your windows. Windows by default has a lot of animations and you need to get rid of it to get much better performance. For that, you need to search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows and open this up. In the performance option, make sure to select adjust for best performance and then select smooth edges of screen fonts as well as show thumbnails instead of icons. Once you've enabled both of these options, simply click on apply and this will completely deanimate your windows and you will see the performance boost right away step number three is system configuration and for that you need to press your windows and r key together and search for ms config once this opens up you need to go into the boot section click on advanced options click on number of processors and select the maximum number of processors available here this will utilize all of the cores while your pc boots up and also optimizes your computer for the long run simply click on ok and then click on apply 
Step number four is using exit lag. Exit lag is pro's choice to get rid of network problems and fixes your packet loss and much more things in your PC. You can get exit lag from the link in the description below for completely free. Once you've installed and opened up exit lag, make sure to keep it enabled and in here you will find a list where you can pick your games. Exit lag by default offers you a list of over 300 games to choose from and you can find PUBG right over here. Simply click on it and choose the nearest region to you. For me, it is going to be in Asia and I personally go for Singapore servers. So use the Singapore server and it will show you the estimated ping that you're going to get. Make sure to select it and click on apply routes. And now PUBG will be added to your recent list. The best part of exit lag is that it offers you the tools section, which are really handy. In the tools, you will find an FPS boost section, which is dedicated over here. You need to enable the first, third, fourth, fifth, last and third last option and it will optimize your pc for better gameplay experience i personally have been using exit lag and it is helping me out a ton whenever i play my games once again exit lag is not free to use and you need to get a subscription to keep using it but i firmly believe that the price you are paying for the subscription is much lower than the performance you are getting in the game and i personally recommend you guys to use it you can get a one month 12 month or six month subscription according to your own needs but if you go through the link in my description below you will get an additional 44 percent off on your first purchase so make sure to choose wisely fifth step is creating a restore point and it is really important search for create a restore point and once you are here look for your local disk c click on configure and make sure the turn on system protection is enabled simply click on ok create and name it pubg and simply press on create in case your pc runs through troubles or you are not liking the settings you always have an option to restore back to everything without any data loss once it is done simply click on close and close system properties step number six is pubg updated fps pack i'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below and it works for this current update of pubg once you've downloaded and opened this pack up you will find in four simple folders first one is the cpu optimization you need to open it up once you are in this folder you need to run both of these registry files they will optimize your windows settings as well as optimize your cpu threads for the maximum performance then you have cpu priority and in here, you need to increase the power efficiency and it will increase the consumption of the power of your CPU, ultimately increasing your performance. Then you need to choose between AMD or Intel according to your PC. In case you're looking for your processor, you will find it in system information on your PC. You need to look for the processor. For me, it is AMD. It could be Intel for you. Also, take a look on your installed physical memory. It is 32 GB for me. Now, I have an AMD processor, so I need to run the AMD CPU priority. If you have an Intel processor, you can run the Intel priority. Once you're done with the first folder, go to the RAM optimization folder. And this is exactly why I told you to take a look on your installed physical memory. For me, I have to use a 32 GB RAM registry. It could be different for you. So I have left a lot of presets right over here. You can just double click and run it. In case you don't like it, you can always restore it back to default. Third one is the Windows optimization. And in here, you will find all of the things that will optimize your windows. Let's open up the first one, which is the cache cleaner. You need to right click and run this as administrator. This will start deleting all of the unnecessary and unwanted files on your computer, which are occupying your RAM and it is ultimately impacting your game performance. Clearing all of these cache will get rid of all of these unwanted files. And don't worry, this is completely safe to do and it won't harm your PC in any way. Once it is done, it closes automatically and then you need to do the same for the fps.pat. This has a lot of commands which will delete your temporary files as well as histories and cookies of your browser. It also cleans your prefetch and other things on your PC which is completely safe. So all you need to do is run this as administrator. Then we have the MSI mode tool utility v3. What you need to do is right click and run this as administrator. And once it opens up, you are looking for your graphic card. For me, my graphic card is right here and it could be set to undefined. Set the interrupt priority to high and simply click on apply. Simply close this application and now your graphic card will be performing in an efficient manner. Lastly is the ultimate performance plan. If you have not set it already in the exit lag, you can use it right over here. You need to open it up, copy the scheme code, open up CMD, run it as administrator. And once this window pops up, you need to simply paste this code and press enter. I have already done it, so I won't do it right now. Simply go into control panel, then search for power options on your PC 
and once you are here you need to set it to ultimate performance now i've already set it by exit lag but if you have added it you will find it right over here once you're done with this folder go back to the fourth folder which is the steam launch options and then open it up you will find this string right over here you need to open up steam on your pc right click on your player unknown battleground go to properties and paste this launch option right over here this will utilize all of your cores while you're playing the game so make sure not to skip this step once you're done with that you can now drop it to the game and follow the last and final step which is the best in game settings okay so once you are in your game what you need to do is press your escape key and then go over to the settings here in the graphic settings scroll down and make sure that your display mode is full screen you can lower your resolution down to increase your fps but i prefer to play on the native resolution for the fps capping make sure to leave it custom and unlimited and for the max fps make sure to slide it to 300 for brightness it is your personal preference so make sure to choose it wisely and then for the universal brightness for all maps keep it enabled then go over to the advanced section now for your render scale you need to set it down somewhere between 80 to 90 set it between 85 and that will give me the best fps for the fov you need to set it all the way up to 103 then for overall graphics quality make sure to scroll it all the way down to low for sharpness resync and motion blur keep it disabled and direct exposure keep it dx11 first in the settings make sure to press on apply and you are done with the best settings so guys that was it for this video i hope i could have helped you out if i could have make sure to leave a like and smash that subscribe button down below we'll see you guys in another video until then stay tuned keep watching by fox and peace out